In this short video, I will talk about the schema tab of the Dream Factory admin console. So the schema tab is pretty straightforward. You can add as many SQL databases as you want in the services tab, which is discussed in a different tutorial. And all of those databases that you add will show up in the schema tab here in this service list box. So this is a way by which you can manage your schema. You can of course do that with other database tools like you do today. This is just another way to do that. So let's say you want to look at a schema and here I'll look at the local SQL database and it has four tables. So the way you can actually follow this tutorial is if you go into the apps tab and import any of the address book applications, that's actually the address book schema in the local SQL database here. So I have four different tables and I can just select any of these tables. And here is a UI. So I can uh, you know, basically create new tables, I can drop tables, I can upload a JSON definition and I'll show that quickly. Uh, but for any table that you have, you can go in here and put in the information. What's the alias for the table name, the uh, label, the plural of that table, and so forth. It lists all of the fields here with their type, whether or not they are mandatory fields. And it also shows foreign key relationships for this particular table. So we have three different tables here that are related to this contact table. You can go and of course click any of these and edit them. And you can also go ahead and add new fields if you need to do that. And fill in this information, this form, the attributes of that field and save it. And that will be automatically added. It's also worth mentioning that you can do all of these actions directly from the API itself. So Dream Factory provides an API uh, for each database schema. So you can change the schema using the REST API as well. And you can do that and see that in the API docs. So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, not too much there. You can also upload JSON. So to do that, actually there's a sample in here. If you just click on this, you'll see some pre-populated uh, JSON, which is a simple to-do list table, uh, which shows you how this is all formed. So your key value pairs for each field in a table, the resource, which is the table name, you can put all of that information into a JSON file and upload it, and it will then create the table for you. You can create tables, you can drop tables, and the only other kind of key thing that I want to show here is in addition to this editor, Another good way to look at the particular definition of a table is with the JSON. So here you can go ahead and see the JSON definition of that table and you can also update. So in addition to using the user interface, the form based approach to changing your schema, you can go ahead and edit the raw JSON as well. So this is the JSON definition of that table and you can validate your JSON, which here is valid by clicking on the validate button. So that's it, brief overview of schema. Remember any database, even if you connect to a remote database, your own MySQL database, for example, you can manage your schema from this UI. So that's about it for schema. Check out the other tutorials uh, on the other parts of the Dream Factory Admin Console on YouTube, on our Dream Factory YouTube channel. And hopefully this is helpful, thanks.